Developing clean energy is an inevitable choice in the path of protecting the living environment of the mankind. Only by achieving the all-round prosperity of clean energy will we be able to give our descendants the precious blue sky as our legacy. JA Solar leading the core technology and quality of global photovoltaic products has been working unremittingly in developing green energy for a dozen years. Today, JA Solar will guide you through the structure of PV modules and the installation procedures. A structure. This is a piece of JA Solar monocrystalline module. The front structure consists of the aluminum alloy frame, tempered glass of high transparency, high quality EVA, solar cell of high performance, and welding ribbon of low resistance. The back structure consists of the product label with electrical parameters, junction box, positive negative cables together with connector, back sheet, and high reliability silicon sealant. Please be aware of the mounting holes, grounding holes and drainage holes on the frame. The limit operating temperature should be minus 40 degrees Celsius, minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit and 85 degrees Celsius, 185 degrees Fahrenheit. Please do not install the module in these places containing ammonia, saline water, salt mist, acid rain are other corrosive materials and keep the modules away from inflammable and explosive areas. To avoid damages caused by lightning, the module must be fitted with lightning protection devices. Unloading and storage. Please unload the modules on a solid, wide and flat ground. Do not unload or stack up the modules on bumpy, ponding, sinking ground or slopes. Please check the module type, peak power, current class and loaded quantity soon after delivery. When removing the waterproof cover, do not tear it apart to avoid damages to the outer packing. When removing is finished, please check carefully if the outer packing is intact and verify if the module type and quantity on the package are in conformity with the delivery note. If any abnormity occurs, please contact the JA Solar customer service right away. Use the forklift or crane for unloading. When using the forklift to unload, do not hit the package with forklift arms. When placing the modules, do not drop the package abruptly. When using the crane to unload, please adjust the location of suspension straps to keep the modules steady and balanced. No more than two cases are allowed in one operation. When placing the modules, do not drop the package abruptly. The modules must be stacked in alignment from top to bottom and no more than two cases are allowed in one stack. For storage, please keep the wrapping film and carton package intact. If stored outdoors, please cover the modules with the waterproof cloth promptly. Transportation and Unpacking Please use appropriate vehicles to transfer the modules. Earth mover and excavator are not allowed in such cases. When the modules are delivered to the construction site, please check the module type, peak power, current class and quantity as specified in the shipping mark. It is suggested to use utility knives to remove the packing bands and wrapping film. Violent demolition is prohibited, for which might damage the modules inside. After opening the package cover, please carefully verify the number of modules inside and check if the barcode information on the frame is in conformity with the shipping mark. Before removing the inner packing bands, please take protective measures to avoid the entire case being capsized. Two men are required to hold the short sides of the module frame with both hands. Take it out and place it steadily on the pallet. Do not attempt to unpack the module on one's own. 
which may cause sliding down, breakage, and micro-crack of the modules. Please note that the glass side of the first module should face upwards whilst the glass side of the other module should face downwards. Stacked parts shall remain aligned. No more than 20 pieces are allowed in one stack and do not pile up heavy items on top of the modules. Do not squeeze or hit any part of the module. Do not stand, sit, sleep or stack heavy items on the module, which may cause micro-crack of the module. Do not touch the junction box and the metal parts of the cables to avoid electric shock. Please note that even in rainy days with low irradiance, the module would still generate voltage after irradiation. Before installation, make sure the following checking list is ticked, including glass breakage, cell breakage, back sheet scratch, aluminum frame deformation, junction box divorced or lid missing, label missing or defected, breakage of cables or connectors, and other abnormities. Should the above mentioned situations arise, please take photos for the record and contact the JA Solar customer service promptly. Mechanical Installation In order to achieve the optimal power output of the system, please install the modules with identical power and current into the same strings. When moving the module, it is required that two men hold the short side of the module frame with both hands and move it vertically. Do not try to drag the module by grasping the cables. Do not carry the module on the head, shoulder or back. Please install the modules from the top row to the bottom row in order to avoid stepping on the lower modules. Place the modules gently on the supporting rail and avoid clashing. Please use the original mounting holes on the frame to fix the modules firmly. Do not drill at any other places. The module installation can either be fixed by the screw bolts or the clamps. Here we are going to demonstrate the installation process involving clamp fixation as an example. Place the exterior module first and then adjust the position of the module and the clamps. Put the bolt with gastic through the clamp and bracket, and then another gasket, the spring washer, and the screw nut one by one. Finally, tighten the screw. The torque is required to be 18 to 24 Newton meter. Place the second module after all the clamps are fastened. When the second module is properly positioned, Use the intermediate clamp to join the right side of the first module and the left side of the second module tightly. If the clamp is not positioned at the right place, it may cause failure of module fixity or frame deformation. When installing the modules on higher brackets, please use scaffold or other installation platforms as support. It is forbidden to hit the module or sit, sleep, step or crawl on the module, which may cause inner micro-crack and impair the power output of the module. It is suggested to connect the positive and negative connectors right after the module installation. If the connection fails instantly, please do not cut off the cable ties and keep the connector ports away from water and sand. Electrical Connection when fixing the electrical connection of the modules, please use the diagonal cutting plier to cut the cable ties and cut carefully to avoid scratches on the cables and the back sheet. Join the positive and negative connectors following the sequence as specified in the electrical connection instructions. If the connectors are correctly positioned, you will hear a click sound as a confirmation. Otherwise, the wrong connection may trigger the module to generate electric arcs during the operation, which can damage the connectors. When the strings are gathered in the combiner box, it is required to use special PV cables as extensions. Do not cut off the electrical connection when it is loaded. Wrong connection may generate electric arc or shock that may damage the modules. Keep the connectors dry and clean during the installation. 
Before power station starts operation, please conduct the electric check of the modules and strings to confirm if the polarity of the strings is correct and the open circuit voltage is up to the standard. To avoid thunder strike and ensure electric safety, the frame of the module must be grounded. It is suggested to use the AWG6 to 12 wire diameter 4 to 2 millimeters copper core as the grounding conductor. Meanwhile, it is suggested to use the labeled grounding holes or other unused mounting holes on the frame for grounding. Do not attempt to drill at any other places. JA modules can be grounded by using a third-party grounding device so long as they are certified to be safe and reliable. The grounding device must be manufactured by a qualified electric product supplier and properly installed by a qualified electrician. Operation Maintenance Please regularly check and maintain the PV modules on the basis of system monitoring data to ensure safe, stable and efficient operation of the system. Accumulated dust and dirt would decrease the power output of the modules and even result in hot spots. Therefore, it is critical to regularly clean the glass surface of the modules, but do not wash the modules that have exposed broken glass and damaged cables to avoid electric shock. Please schedule a proper cleaning routine of the modules. It is suggested to do the cleaning when the sunlight is relatively weak such as in the early morning, in the evening, at night, or on rainy days. Use soft materials such as sponge or non-woven cloth, together with soft brushes and rubber glass cleaning tools, to clean the modules and do not use any hard materials such as knife or steel wool. All types of commercial glass cleaning detergent or alcoholic solution can be used to assist cleaning. However, abrasive powder polishing powder, acid solution, alkaline solution, gasoline and steam are prohibited. The water pressure for cleaning the modules shall not be higher than 690 kilopascal. Do not stand or walk on the modules during cleaning.